What's good, human figures of Earth? Welcome back to the channel. Now we about to hop back into this video, and and hopefully we can get into some some good scary action here on this one. So let's let's get it. Oh boy! This we here. Matt, this place is magnificent. Yeah, it's magnificent. All right. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. When you kill dozens of people in it, I can almost guarantee it's haunted with something negative. Hello. I wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl up there. Oh boy. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. You look like you scared, big homie. How about you come in here with us and sleep with us, too? Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Nah, this don't seem like a good plan, bro. that the time hold up wait i started <laughs> this windows time have seven in it in the middle what up granny oh there you are busy 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 you've been out in a bottle all day and i have to sit here worrying God, all day and not a word from you. So, ain't I a grown ass man? Ain't my fault you got to sit in that damn rocket chair all day. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it <laughs> and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. Nah, I lost, nah. probably. You're supposed to be the hard it's ass. Stop being scared. Dude. And here we 
are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. Lip balm. <laughs> you're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh. I know. Where'd it go? Uh, Under the bed. It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? Don't do it. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. Somebody's watching y'all. Sure, I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant, decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting Oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. <laughs> and I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I hate you. Both of y'all gonna be dead by the morning. <laughs> oh, sorry. The blind is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh-huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, I yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just, um... Ah! You might as well do it any damn way. Y'all gonna end up doing it. I like that, but you, you get what I'm... 
What are you doing? See, see. Uh, oh my god. I shouldn't have. I, uh, I shouldn't have. I, I shouldn't have. <laughs> you. Oh, you bitch. There you go. I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Damn, y'all couldn't wait till it was dark. Oh, sorry, sorry. Who is that? Somebody was by, somebody was watching y'all about to get the nest. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You got 10 minutes. You got 10 minutes, boo. You heard okay. that, man? We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> to be continued, then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. Uh oh. Where the hell are they going? That man lied to y'all. Y'all all about to die. Especially messing with me. I'm going to try to keep y'all alive, but there ain't no game running deep. Ooh -wee. I was about to say, what is wrong with her leg? you to have this breaking down walls navigating the maze of anxiety are you fucking kidding me i think she thought it might help with your stress or... absolutely not i'm not stressed okay you sound stressed to me bro do i look fucking stressed yeah uh that was, the truth. That was rhetorical well your cards came out nice enough oh yeah embossing makes a huge difference you old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Uh, Mr. Dumet, it's gone. Did you find them? I, no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. Bro, oh, you right there. Check it to damn so. It's only clothes and uh, uh, this notice of eviction. The studio? 
I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another. It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, but it's you not ain't legal stressed. to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. But you ain't stressed. What? Well, you getting it. Y'all getting evicted. Open it. Now, open it. Hang it. Probably behind like three months. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean... You'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Yep, oh, I ain't reading it. You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? No, we not, Erin. We not. We, we, we all about to die. Because your boy didn't have no money and he just took whatever he can get. Even breathing like a smoke. read that all you got to do is pause I refuse to read again because I suck at it bring your ass hey Charlie I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design more creative stuff Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... Now you just want somebody to do your dirty work. I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that I'm missing and not our gear. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Hello? Who is you? Man, bro, 
tripping. Everything is locked. I'm gone. something over here I did I found the key jackpot Erin I found the key what else back here cuz Better be a gun in here. I don't know what a gun go do. Yep. So what was the point of investigating the noise if nothing happened? He ain't say nothing. Oh, oh I'm Why about don't to get I drunk. Go check for a gift shop or something. I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Bro, you and these damn cigarettes, but you ain't stressed. Hello? Mr. Dumas? Yes! <laughs> yes! Now, how you go get him? Somebody sneak up oh. behind your ass. Of course, it wants exact change. Damn it! I was about to say, where you come from? Hey, we about to get these motherfucking cigarettes. Ah, ah. Fuck. Next round's on me. Promise. And it's the ah. Oi. Oi. Where the hell Oi. was I supposed to hit it at? It'd be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Is that how all smokers feel? Say, cuz, you got a screwdriver or something? I am. That is on your neck. I can't see him blind. You hit it with the mug. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Lord. 
Boy! What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. I'm about to do something to your ass. <sighs> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. OK, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Yes, that motherfucker moved. Y'all doing too much. Hello, Mr. Freda Heights. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. Well, here we go. Ah, fuck. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. Okay. Ah. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Also, oh, y'all dated already. Say what you gotta say, bro. Before we... Look, can I... Say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. You know you want that man back. You know you want that man back. I want that no, you're right. I am. Um... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Hmm, what's in here? How's the new plate? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Damn, is that serious? Sometimes what you I'm got in there? Therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. Camera shot. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop. Or maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Nah, y'all go get back together. There's something oh. back here. Well, that doesn't look very, uh, 
Comfy or Surrey. How do I have this out? Put that up. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe oh, you. we should take care. Probably. Huh. So, so y'all just not totally alone. I was about to say y'all see stuff and don't say a damn thing. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Hey, it made me jump a little bit too. I just didn't scream this time. Was he the devil? Who's behind America's first serial killer? Oh look, the balcony. But I don't want to go back here. I want to be adventurous. Adventurous. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Why? Play, Play it. Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? Taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Yeah, it's called the smell of death. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. What is up here? Oh, look, natural lighting. Ma'am. What's with the. What's with the ladder? Keep your head down. You will see, keep your head down when she ain't even behind you, fool. Oh. 
Uh-oh. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. Mark is tripping right now. Mark is doing too much. Bro, where the hell are we going? I'm smart. Got it. All right, let's get to this damn balcony. saying otherwise bro yeah even i'm not even that bad you knew you want that woman back stop what are you worried about miss always be camera ready you look amazing as usual all right let's shoot this where the hell is we shooting at Okay, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. Don't touch it. I'm gonna touch it anyway. Ah! Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. That's only because you didn't see hey, it the first time. Mommy, Shut up. It's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. 
Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was its own reward. A piece of shit. And quitting would have been his own reward. He's running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together like a team. Mark, look, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect. I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. Charlie has got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. And get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news <laughs> and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Say, bro, I'll quit Great. this motherfucker right I, now. You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Cause if I quit right now, you wouldn't have nobody to record this shit. Bro, you ain't got nothing better to do. All right, y'all, this is where we go in this one. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.